OK, in this video, a box of mass 80 kilos rests in equilibrium on a plane inclined at an angle 25 degrees to the horizontal. A force of magnitude x newtons acts on the box parallel to the plane in the upwards direction. The coefficient of friction between the box and the plane is 0.26. First of all, find the magnitude of the normal reaction force acting on the box. OK, let's draw a diagram so we can see what's going on. Here's the inclined plane. So the angle was 25 degrees. There's the box. It's got a mass of 80 kilos, so it's got a weight of 80 G. So let's split that up into components. So if that's 25 degrees, then this will be 80 G sine 25, and this will be 80 G cosine 25. The normal reaction force, R, works perpendicular to the plane. Um, so we've got all of that. We've got the mu is 0.26. Ah, we've got this x newtons acts on the box parallel to the plane in the upwards direction. So there's our x newtons. OK. Find the magnitude of the normal reaction force acting on the box. OK, so if I resolve uh, perpendicular to the plane, then I've got, taking that direction as positive, I've got R. Take away the 80G cos 25. Now the box is not accelerating uh, perpendicular to the plane, and so mass times acceleration will be zero. So the normal reaction force is 80 times 9.8, taking G as 9.8, times cos of 25. And that gets me 710.545305. So 710 newtons to 2 sig fig. OK, so that's my normal reaction force, my answer for part A. Given that the equilibrium is limiting, find the magnitude of the frictional force acting on the box. So because it's limiting, F will be equal to mu times R. So the frictional force is equal to mu, the 0.26, times by the 710.5, etc. So I've still got that 710.54, etc. on my calculator. Multiply that by the 0.26, and I get 184.741. So 180 newtons to 2 sig fig. OK, that's my frictional force. So now, find the value of x for which the box is on the point of slipping, firstly, down the plane. OK, so if it's on the point of slipping down the plane, the acceleration is 0, OK? But the friction will act against the direction of motion. So it's just about slipping down the slope. So if I resolve parallel to the plane, OK? and I can take uh, downwards as positive. Then I've got the 80g sine 25, the weight working downwards. I've got the friction force working against me, which I now know is this 180 newtons, so the 184.7, etc. I've got x working against me, OK? And that's got to be equal to mass times acceleration, which is just zero. So I've still got the 184.7 on my calculator. So if I add the x to both sides, then x is equal to 80g sine 25, take away the 184.7. So 80 times 9.8 times sine of 25, take away that 184.7 gets me 146.59, so 150 newtons to 2 sig fig. OK, so that would be uh, x if uh, the box is on the point of slipping down the plane. If instead it's on the point of slipping up the plane, all this does is it changes the direction of the, free, of the friction. 
So now the friction would be working against the block uh, as it travels just about a tip up the plane. So what I've got, if I take upwards as positive, I've got x, I've got the friction force working against us, which is the 184.7, etc. And then I've also got the 80g sine 25 working against us. Now, acceleration is still zero. So, um, now I don't, I no longer have the 184.74 in my calculator. So if I just put it back, so 80 lots of 9.8 times cos of 25, that's that. I multiply that by 0.26, and right, now it's back. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add the 184.7 to both sides, add the 80g sine 25 to both sides, and I get... Uh, 516.07, etc. So 520 newtons to 2 sig fig. Okay? So x would have to be 150 or 146.59 newtons um, so that uh, the box is on the point of tipping down the slope. And if it is 516.07 newtons, then it's on the point of tipping up the slope.